In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a conditional checkbox here in Google Sheets. So the condition that we're trying to create is not within our checkbox, but will be dependent on our checkbox. So I have my example data set right here where I have a list of the doctor's names and their status in the clinic of whether they're already in or not yet. So I have two empty columns at the end of my table where I will be putting in my checkbox and the status of whether those doctors are already in or not. Let's get started. So in these pre-built tables, you have your column options right here in the dropdown. So if you do click on that, here are the options that you can do. At the top, we're going to edit the column type and turn this column into a checkbox. So go ahead and select that. And there you have it. So we've created our third column, which would be our checkbox column. I'm just going to adjust the size of that column so it doesn't take too much space in our table. Then on the next column, this is where we're going to use the if function that will give us two outputs depending on our condition, which will be again dependent on our checkboxes. So let's start with a formula that's with an equal sign and then the if function. Type in if. And here's our formula. What we want it to do is to determine that if this cell is equal to true, and that true is when the box is checked, comma, then it will return us the value of in. And if it's false, it will return us the value of out. Close parentheses and press enter. And now it's given us a suggested autofill which we will accept because that is the same formula. And there you have it. So since we haven't ticked any of our boxes yet, then it will tell us that none of these doctors are not yet in or they're still out. But if we do check on one, it will automatically say that the doctor is in. And there you have it. So that's one example. Let's try another one. So in this example right here, we have purchase orders from different customers with different products. And what we're trying to determine is if these customers have already paid for their orders. And we're going to do the same process. Again, our last two columns are still empty because this is where we're going to be putting our checkboxes and our status. So for the checkbox, again, we're just going to insert that by editing our column right here. Edit column type, then select checkbox. And here we have our checkboxes. Let's just adjust that a little. There we go. Now for our status of whether it's been paid or not, let's start with our formula again. That's equal sign, type in if. Your logical expression again is if this is equal to true, comma. Then again, it will return us the value of paid. And if it's false, it will give us unpaid. Closing quotation marks, closing parentheses, and press enter. And again, with our suggested autofill, which we will be accepting. And there you have it. If you check on one of these boxes, it will change the status to paid. And there you have it. Those were two examples on when you can use these conditional checkboxes here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.